Hi! Following the last video of Doksangi Valley, I prepared a video of a cold valley in Kapyong before summer goes by. It has rained so much this summer that I hope this video will be a cool video for those who didn't have a chance to go to a valley. I decided to take Gyeongchunsan train for Kapyong station and walk to the valley so that I could take videos freely. It took 1 hour and 5 minutes from Cheongmyangmi Station in Seoul to Kapyong Station. When you get out of Kapyong Station, there's a row of taxis in front of it and it takes 15 minutes to the parking lot by taxi and the fee is about 1000 won. However, I walk, so I turn to the left on getting out of the station and walk along the road cross at the crosswalk and walk along to the left for Kapyong District Office. Having passed by the tunnel, sunny high view apartment complex appeared and I walked along the road for 30 to 40 minutes until Paranche apartment complex appeared. Paranche apartment complex appeared after walking for 35 minutes. I cross the bridge ahead and walk along the road on the left for about 30 minutes. While walking, a pretty apple field caught my eye. It's a pension named Chayanya Nature Station. The apples are already ripe. Right like this. As the apples are right right, they could be picked in September. I want to pick apples and buy them. Now Yongchu Valley seems to be near. I go straight as the sign says. At last, after walking for 10 minutes, I arrived at Yongchu Falls, the first view spot. Yongchu Valley consists of 9 view spots, and this is the most famous one. It was named Waryongchu as its spot looked like a dragon that lay there and flew into the air and it consists of two falls, but one is hard to see as it is far. The second view spot, Wusong Rock, appears soon. There is lots of water and it looks deep by its greenish color. It was named so as the 1000 year old pine tree looks again it and it's the very dark rock in front of the old pine tree. Going up a little more, there's the last bus stop for the bus in this one and it takes 35 minutes from the train station or bus terminal but as the bus runs every 2 hours, I recommend taking a taxi. 10 more minutes of walking from the bus stop to the parking lot. Playing the water starts near the parking lot. There's a public parking lot right up the road, but it's rather small. I keep going upstream. Going up for 10 minutes towards Chungsangni village, the third view spot, Kangyongne, appears. It was named so as the water streamed between two turtle rocks was clean and clear like jade marble. As the pool is clean and white, many people usually play here, but as it is a weekday, only one family occupies here. Going up a little bit more, the fourth spot, Kusultan, appears. To see the fifth spot in Sade, I walk onto the path to the left. When I see beautiful white flowers, I feel like my heart and tired body is recovered. The fifth spot in Sade looks beautiful as if the pine tree covered over the water, and as the water is deep, the path 
to go down is blocked. I return and keep going up along the valley toward Yomi Mountain. It's a steep valley, so water runs rapidly and it has rained so much recently that there is much more water than usual. Watching, please subscribe, like, and comment.